Pets is coming. Yeah, what else is new? It's just like the last 12 times. You'd think we'd have learned our lesson by now. Whose dumb idea was it to try this again anyway? <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Probably because you're the one who said, <clears throat> Hello, classmates. Today is the dawn of a new day. A new day! Thanks to a phone call I placed to the school board, Principal Greedy Guts will no longer pilfer our hard-earned trip money. <sighs> I remember now. My favorite part was when you said, No longer will you rake, wash, and carry in vain. Onward to Quebec City and victory! Ah! <sighs> and we fell for it. We trusted you. <laughs> I'm okay. I've got blisters from raking ten acres of leaves. I babysat the Kowalski's evil parrot for a week. We busted our chops for nothing. All that money we raised ended up in Greedy Gut's pocket. Again. Again. <sighs> I don't know how he did it. I was told every precaution would be taken. <laughs> Incroyable! It is a bus, no? We're really going! Three cheers for Jake! Keep him hooray! Keep him hooray! Keep him hooray! 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 <laughs> oh no! No! I'm supposed to be on that bus. I'm missing the trip to Quebec City. I don't believe this. You can't do this. You can't. Oh, yes, I can, yeah, because I am the fan, yeah. I'll tell Superintendent yeah. Fuss Budget. You'll be in big trouble. Go ahead, you low-down, sniveling, weasel-eyed little con artist. Superintendent Fuss Budget knows all about your pathetic attempt to swindle the school board. Swindle? I didn't swindle anyone. I didn't. Oh, really? I present to you the indisputable proof. A wooden nickel found in your fundraising envelope, which makes you five cents short. <laughs> you planted this in my envelope to get back at me. You planted it. Oh, nice try, Tutu. But as you well know, Superintendent Fuss Budget scrutinized the counting of every single penny. Thanks to your whining about me skimming a reasonable 95% of all the previous field trip funds. <laughs> oh. Imagine my giddy glee, my unfettered joy, my perfect bliss. When I discovered you are nothing but a despicable bamboozler in goody tutu shoes clothing. <sighs> cha -cha 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 -cha. Yeah, tutu's trip's gone sour. Yeah, it's my finest hour. Yeah. <laughs> but where did it come from? Obviously, one of your donors swindled you. And if you ever find out who did it, give him a great big hug from me. <laughs> oh, 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 there goes my back. Oh, but it was worth it. Don't take any more wooden nickels, Tutu. <laughs> oh, oh, ow. <laughs> hmm, let's see. I did chores for Gummer Gormley. No, Benny? Not him. Sadie? Couldn't be. Miss Darling Sweetie Pie? I don't think so. Hmm. Those stinkers! Those stinkers! I'm impressed, Squirt. When I said we'd take a lie detector test, I never dreamed you'd actually do it. Enough chit-chat. Let's get to it. After I cleaned the dead moths out of your ceiling lights, you cheated me, didn't you? Uh, no. Ha! That's a lie! You gave me a wooden nickel, didn't you? 
No. no. Huh? That's the truth. But if you really didn't give me that nickel, how come the machine said you cheated me? Well, because we did cheat you. Hmm. Yeah, that yucky job was worth at least a quarter. But we paid you with a real nickel. You are telling the truth. You are. Whoa. Where'd you get that? Hmm. You know, this could be worth a buck or two. A buck? Or two? But I thought wooden nickels are worthless. If you're dopey enough to try to spend them on bubble gum, yeah. But not if you're a coin collector. I'd check it out if I were you, small fry. <laughs> Just kidding, Jake. We actually did pay you that wooden nickel. Nice try. Nice try. <sighs> What you have here might be the only spruce moose to survive the 1930s termite plague. Wow, it's an endangered nickel? Yeah, you, you might say that. I mean, certainly worth protecting at a market value of, let's say, uh, $100,000. $100,000? And in 1759, General Wolf stubbed his toe on this rock. Then things turned really nasty. guys, there's room for everybody. And it's got cable. But how can you afford it? Someone gave me a wooden nickel worth a fortune. A fortune! You are so incredibly lucky! Yeah, congratulations. Give my regards to the hugely unlucky person who unintentionally made this possible. Made this possible. Oh. This possible. Congratulations, kid. You're gonna keep it or uh, cash it in? Huh? Uh, neither. I have to find out who gave it to me. They couldn't have known it's so valuable. They couldn't have. <laughs> my wooden nickel. Where's my wooden nickel? Yeah, who cares about your Beasley nickel, Tutu? Where's my molar? Aha! <laughs> hey, Lardy. How much for a genuine tooth fresh from the head of a famous Montreal Marvel defenseman? Bet it's worth a lot more than some stupid wooden nickel, huh? I doubt it. The nickel is worth $100,000. $100,000! $100, Found it. Phew, that was close. Hmm. Judging from the wear and decay, this molar's... Forget about my Mars molar! Give me that phone! No! Oh, this can't be! How could I let that precious wooden nickel slip into the hands of my runny-nosed nemesis? No! Oh, where is he now? Heading north on Sherbrooke. No, wait, east on, uh, uh you know, that one that... Bear me the travelogue! Go after him, louse! Tutu has a hundred thousand dollars in his pocket that should be mine! Don't let that egregious, conniving little brat out of your sight. You bet, boss. I'll stick to him like a dumb beetle on a... <laughs> Time to relieve Tutu of my fortune. <laughs> oh. That's what I was going to say. Whether the woe-oof part, of course. <laughs> Jacob, it's every hockey player's dream to live at the overtime paradise retirement villa. Too bad this here wooden nickel ain't mine. See you later, Gummer. See ya, Jacob. Oh, we need another coffee break, Fowl. What we really need is a big break, Fish. We'll never get filthy rich doing this. Just filthy. And smelly. Carl, Carl Fester King. King. Fish and Fowl. <laughs> Look, 
The king of the con art is scrounging for a free lunch. <gasps> I don't have time for you low-life crooks. I have to get back on the trail of Jacob Tutu and his ridiculously valuable wooden nickel. Oh, that meddlesome brat has a hundred thousand dollars in his pocket that should be mine. Hey, that sounds like the big break you were talking about, Fowl. It sure does, Fish. Wow, look at that skateboard. Oh, look at that price tag. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, Jacob. <laughs> what are you daydreaming about today? That skateboard. Hoi! I should have that kind of money to spend. Actually, this might be your lucky day. Is this yours? You found it. I've been looking all over for this. You have no idea how rare it is. Yes, I do, Zadie. I do. No one sells these individually. And I refuse to buy two dozen new croconoles when my game is only missing one. It's not a crocono, Zadie. It's a wooden nickel. A wooden nickel. Oh, so it is. <sighs> Guess it's not my lucky day after all. I'm looking for the person who accidentally gave this to me. It's very valuable. Such a thoughtful grandson I have. Find someone else's treasure, and the thought of spending it on himself never enters his head. Yeah, um, I wouldn't dream of it. Much. Ho ho! I could start a whole chain of Benny's bagel shops with drive through windows and playgrounds for the kiddies. Too bad this wooden nickel uh, isn't mine. My advice to you, Jacob, don't keep it. I wasn't planning to, Benny. Good, because the longer you hang on to it, the easier it is for it to disappear. See? That's what happened to the last poor schlub. Spend it, kiddo. Spend it while you can. Someone gave it to you fair and square, so it's yours. Except that fate has favored you this time. Maybe Benny's right. If fate put this wooden nickel in my fundraising envelope, why not let fate decide if I keep it? Heads it's mine, tails it's not. Ah! <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Thank you very much. Hey! No! Oh, if anyone's got dips on that nickel, it's me and Fish. Yeah, he's duped us twice, that troublesome Tutu. Oh, well, he's been the cause of my undoing two times twice. So I'd say that makes it mine. <laughs> Forgive me. My emotions have temporarily overwhelmed me. It's just so heartwarming to meet three kindred spirits who share my passion for ill-gotten gains. And, above all else, a loathing of that vile Jacob Tutu. That, that little, little stinker. stinker! Dear friends, noble comrades, recent acquaintances, fate has brought us together, and this is our chance to unite and defeat Tutu! And then divide the dough evenly. Hmm. Yeah, 50 50. Uh, 50? Absolutely. All right, it's a deal. Wear it! All for one. <laughs> and, and all, all against, against two two. Congratulations, kid. 
Are you gonna keep it or uh, to cash it in? Spend it, kiddo. Spend it while you can. Such a grandson I have. Find someone else's treasure, and what does he do? He gives it away. <laughs> what a slump. Mr. Tutu, Mr. Tutu, how does it feel to be the owner of the Montreal Marvels? It's terrific. Terrific. Any changes ahead for the team? Yes, I'll be replacing the goalie. With who? With me, of course. I'm the owner, so I can do what I want. Why didn't you ask Miss Darling Sweetie Pie if the valuable wooden nickel belonged to her? Uh, well, I was going to. Wasn't she the last one on the list? Yes, but I... How do you feel, Miss Sweetie Pie? He always seemed like a nice, honest boy. Who knew he was such a greedy, conniving little weasel? Care to comment? No! No! It's mine! It's mine! Everything all right, dear? Phew, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, Miss Darling Sweetie Pie, did you lose this? My lucky spruce moose. I've been wondering where it went to. Ah! Gotcha. <laughs> Miss Sweetie Pie, cat. Oh, dear. <laughs> Give it back. Hey, get your grubby paws off of that. Whoa! Head for the rendezvous, comrades! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, what a commotion. Oh, why is he following me? He's supposed to be following my misleading instructions to the bogus rendezvous! Thank you, Jacob. I commend your honesty. Some people I know, like the chubby fellow tailgating me, could learn a lesson from you. I wasn't that honest, Miss Sweetie Pie. If I hadn't wasted so much time daydreaming about keeping the nickel for myself, I'd have returned it before those stinkers found out about it. Nickel, Tutu! What do you mean, your nickel? Yeah! What do you mean, yours? It's ours! <sighs> no, it isn't! No, it isn't! It belongs to Miss Sweetie Pie! You can't have it! None of you! It's all right, Jacob. If it means that much to them, they can have it. It's mine! 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 Yeah. mine. <laughs> you land a Goshen! I've never seen such a fuss. It's mine! Mine! mine. 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 <laughs> Allow me to cash it in, my friends, so that we may divvy up the spoils. Oh, no, you're not leaving my sight, Greedy Guts. That's right. We're going together. <sighs> Fine, then. Hey, wait for me. Oh. Ow! Hey! 
You gave it to them. You just gave it to them. Oh, I gave it to them, all right. <laughs> wow. This is the most woefully obvious counterfeit spruce moose I have ever seen. It's so fresh and still smoldering. Be gone! Get out of my store! <gasps> I've been hoodwinked! Ha! I think we've been hoodwinked. And you did the winking. <laughs> ah! oh! 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 I knew that old wood-burning kit would come in handy someday. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been one ugly wood nickel. See you in Quebec City! Did you enjoy Quebec City, Jacob? Oh, yeah. There's all sorts of cool stuff to do, and the restaurants are great. No wonder the British wanted it so badly. How was your trip to the bank? Oh, I'm keeping my wooden nickel right here. Good luck is worth more than money in the bank. How do you know it's so lucky, Miss Sweetie Pie? Well, for starters, it turned out to be worth a fortune. I'd say that was pretty lucky. <laughs> That's for sure. Getting it back from that gang of hooligans took a bit of luck, too. You can say that again. It wouldn't seem right cashing in something that has such sentimental value. Not that I wasn't tempted. <laughs> 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 Ow, 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 ow,